An elevating mechanism in the conveyor belt controls the trajectory of the wood chips. The excavator can pick up anywhere from 8 to 15 trees in one grab. Then once it hits the hogzilla, it don't stand a chance. The computer sensor inside the tub spins to control and adjust the load for maximum grinding efficiency. Because it's often used as a mulch for smaller crops, two things you don't want in your wood chip pile are nails and wire. A magnet at the end of the conveyor belt connects metal parts and separates them from the pile. The harder he pushes down on the trees, the more RPMs Hogzilla kicks up. You can actually hear it, that's pretty sweet. So far we, we probably got about 50 or 60 trees growing so, already in about five minutes. So one philosophy for the Hogzilla could be too much is better than not enough, right? Correct. Yeah, you don't want to go too much and you don't want too low. This machine can, can be running for about eight to 10 hours a day with a 500 gallons of fuel. It will be grinding over a thousand trees. I gotta be honest with you, man, I'm impressed, but at the same time, I would really like to try this thing. Can I give it a whirl? Go ahead. Really? This is not gonna be that easy for you because I'm the master. I, I totally agree with you. To the test, I decide to feed this beast giant logs from a recently cut down eucalyptus tree. Then don't let this go until you let it go inside the top. Right there, let it go. Oh! Oh, I feel it now. Can you see the material going out? I can see the material going out, and we got a nice layer up top, huh? You know, in the old days, and actually still today, farmers would burn the old crop to make room for the new. But that's not environmentally safe, nor is it cost efficient when you consider what can be done with the leftover piles. All of the shredded trees and plants can actually be shipped off to a factory and used as an alternative energy source. The process of turning lemon grove wood chips into power is called thermal oxidation. The wood chips are used as fuel to create steam the steam then turns a turbine that creates electricity. And in the end, these 10 acres of lemon trees will create enough electricity to power 40 homes for over one year. In a world that's begging for new ways to power life, I would say that that is really big thinking. Oh, is that something you do this in? <laughs> <laughs> He's freaking tickling my leg oh, underneath okay. the water. Today, we bulldozed over 10 acres of lemon trees and shredded them down into a huge pile of compost that could actually fit in the living room that you're sitting in right now. In case you're wondering what we did with all those random lemons at the end of the day, as the old adage goes, when life gives you lemons, can I help you?